network is your net worth. Get ready for the episode. What is going on, good people? Listen, if you are tapping in for the first time, my name is Justin, and I'm going to be your host for today. I have a special guest. I have a very, um, this person that I'm going to introduce to you, I hold very special to my heart because maybe you're following me because you see me creating content. Maybe you see the media, social media, and you're wondering, like, where, where did this guy come from? How did he get started? And listen, it's all her fault, guys. <laughs> It, it, it's all Lexi Matos's fault for getting me started in this entrepreneurship journey. And we have Lexi on today. And for those of you that have been tapping in, this is the network. We're going into our second season. And it's, it's been all top of the line, quality interviews, quality people, because you already know your network is your net worth, right? So I couldn't, I couldn't come into 2023 without bringing somebody very special somebody that has influenced me, that has um, encouraged me, somebody that has spoken life into me at a time in my life where I, I, you know, I didn't know where my hope was coming from, right? So now I'm a licensed real estate agent. We got Just Blessed Media with a couple recurring clients and other things in the works, but we're not here for me. We're here to promote you and everything you're doing with your business. Lexi, how are you? It's good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. And for those that were watching and tapping in, you might have seen the, the pictures and the video. And we're going to jump right into it because today we're going to uncover some secrets of how you can earn more money in 2023 and do some more creative things with real estate. So we're going to show you Lexi's brand new Airbnb. You are what I waited for. So Lexi, I'm, I'm so happy for you and this brand new venture, this brand new um, situation you got. Is this your first Airbnb? Yes, actually it is. Um, hoping to get multiple Airbnbs within the next year, um, but definitely my first experience. Well, today I just, I'm so grateful to be here with you and I remember it was July 4th, right? It was July 4th, 2019. And we were talking about something and, and you said of becoming a real estate agent, you thought it'd be a good idea. And we're here today, but um, successfully because of your mentorship, you were able to help me pass on my first try. So that was, that was a I team thing. You. That was a yeah. team thing. That was a team thing. <laughs> Well, I, I'm not sure if a lot of people know, but um, at that time, we were studying together. Um, and you were pregnant. And I was committed. I, I definitely wanted, I, I knew that once you started, you'd just be natural at entrepreneurship altogether. And, and I remember that day, right? And like, for me, I really think about like, my life has changed in, in, you know, from different concepts, right? Yeah. And the concept that to this day, you know, I try to enhance and, and, and just continue to work on and develop, but it's the law of attraction, right? You know, to put yourself in situations, put yourself around people. I mean, look, we're on the network, right? Your network is your net worth, right? I've been saying that for a whole year for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that's because you imparted something into me that day, July 4th, 2019. And I'm forever grateful. And when at that time you were still a new agent but can can you can you just tell us where you're at now like from the growth of when i became an agent to like where you're at now and what you're looking to do in 2023 sure so at that time i think i was like a year in of uh just venturing out on my own into real estate i was doing leasing and property management prior to um, real estate sales and just honestly, it didn't work out. Um, I always knew I wanted to work for myself. 
and I gave my two week notice and it was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. Um, the whole nine to five, you know, working under kind of people that just wanted to be like dictators. Um, and we know and that don't work, right? Didn't work. <laughs> I, I always got written up for insubordination. <laughs> Welcome I thought to I the could club. Be better, I don't know. <laughs> um, but you know, a year later, I was doing well in real estate at that time. Um, fast forward. I had my third child, which is um, Ezra, my son, and... Easy E. Yeah, I was back to changing diapers, being a, you know, hands-on, full-time mom, and... Jeez, and just got back in it. Yeah, just getting back in full swing now. <laughs> but but it's not even like spool, f s full swing, it's like... You tripled the swing, right? Right, right. You tripled right. the swing. I, I had to kind of change my strategy and I guess how I approached it all. I had to, at that time, business was slowing down because I wasn't, I wasn't present in real estate as much as I used to be. And um, so I just had to strategize. I had to find a way to create, you know, multiple incomes and substitute at the time being. And, and I turned into Toro. How many cars? Um, right now we have three on the platform. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. And before we started, you were saying it's almost like I got, you know, I, I got a rental because yeah. you, you're you leasing the car and then you're putting it on a platform to rent it out, correct? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how that works? And for those that are watching and maybe somebody's like, yo, I got a really nice car. Maybe I could rent it out. How can they get started? Yeah, you can. For sure. Um, so Toro is only one of the platforms that are out there. There's, I believe, Hire a Car, Get Around, um, just to name a few. But my, in my experience, um, you know, other people that I've known that use the other platforms express that Toro probably is the best one uh, customer service wise and um, as far as coverage and what they cover on your property as far as like physical damage or someone smoking in the car so I took the leap and um, Toro has been amazing for me um, definitely not fully passive but semi passive income can you can you explain what you mean by like not fully but semi um, so pretty much we have mostly um, no contact handoff as far as the cars go, but the only thing we really take care of are the in between of the the you know the booking. So like the the cleaning of the car, you know, taking it to the wash, disinfecting nice, the car nice. for the next. What's time. going on, everybody? Listen, we had some technical difficulties. The stream got interrupted, but we are going to pick up right where we left off with. The economy cars, right? We have three cars on Turo. Yes. And how's that going? And like, what I want to know is, because I actually am interested in getting a car and then putting it on Turo. So it's like, are you going after luxury cars or is it more like, there's a strategy, right? You're a strategist, so give us some strategy. Yeah, so pretty much we, we did our due diligence on the cars in the area, the demand of the car. And, uh, Pretty much just the numbers made sense for us and we have right now we have a toyota corolla a 2019 a honda civic touring 2022 and a honda civic touring sport 2017. um yeah and all cars do really well we, i think we started in August of last year with the first car um, then we saw that one doing three times the amount of the car note itself so we decided to purchase another one Man. yeah so since then it's been nonstop that that is truly amazing man yeah let you out here yeah you out here right and now, I know that this is something I wanted to touch on. It's not in her notes, but it's something that, like, in my life right now, 
I'm working on. And it's like getting my family involved in my business. And cool. your husband, right? He's involved. He does it with you, right? Yeah, he does. He's great support. Um, Dave Shout out to Dave. Definitely stepped, uh, stepped in. At first I was doing, I kind of just took the rein and did it all by myself. Um, but yeah, it becomes so easy and natural, you know, meeting people if you need to pass over keys or accommodate someone's trip or something like that. Now all trips are definitely not perfect. <laughs> I've had my share of experiences with, you know, trips gone bad, <laughs> should I say. <laughs> what, what's a trip gone bad like? Um, so, uh, you know, the things you have to deal with are, you know, people smoking in the car sometimes when there's a no smoking policy. Um, hitting a pothole and getting a flat and not saying anything or, you know, things of that. You have to maintain the car, of course. Um, make sure there's no lights on in the car. Um, so they're very strict with their policies to make sure that the customer also gets um, a great experience. And if you don't mind me asking, right, like how much, how much, like how much is your car payment, your insurance? So like, and then like how much do you have to like, so like are you every month like, yo, I got to hit this number? You don't have to give me an exact number, but like is that how you do it? Um, so we know how many days we have to book out the month in order to cover all three car payments, all three insurances, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's no real overhead for the car. Um, gas, I have a gas car, we barely use it. It's, you know, pretty much you give it to them full, they bring it back full. So there's no real, like, other expenses. Um, but yeah, the numbers make sense. You know, we, we know how many bookings we need. And um, the car is out. I would say the car is actually home. Only car. And that's like a full 24 hours. The car is usually only here um, to be passed off within the next, either the next morning or the same night, honestly. So it's constant rotation. So contactless is a lot easier than handing over keys of course you have to take pictures of the car mileage um but as long as you have good communication with the renter themselves um they don't mind how has your experience been dealing with the renters are the is it like a community like are the people usually pretty friendly and nice yeah yeah everybody that i've met even the one the trips that go bad are pretty friendly um and I don't, I don't really take anything personal. I really treat it like what it is, a business. And my customer service is always on point. Even when there's an issue, I, I'm pleasant. I don't take it personally. You know, it is what it is. These are risks you have to take when you venture out into these type of businesses. Man, we got serial entrepreneur over here. <laughs> But I do enjoy doing it. Now, be, before we even try to get into the Airbnb, let's unpack the home buying process, right? Because you were just saying how like, yo, I have this information and I really want people to tap into it. I want them to use it because you've had your own personal experiences where you've bought homes and bought homes for clients where it was like basically no money out of pocket, correct? Can you tell us a little bit about what that looks like? Yeah, sure. Um, so there are multiple grants that you can use on um, for purchases. So I'll use my mother as an example. Um, buying her her second home, actually, not her first home, but it was sometime in between. She put up a down payment for the property, and as settlement, she was able to purchase and just sign with no money coming to the table. So pretty much we negotiated a seller's assist. Um, we used a grant and we also used a lender's credit. Um, but in this case, there's definitely multiple grants that you can use like the Philly First Front Door. KFIT too, K right? KFIT, yeah. Um, there's also the Neighborhood Lift 
program. There's outside counties, so it's not just Philadelphia, up to like $15,000. And there are certain banks that you can get qualified with that will that have their own grant programs as well. So you can stack these grants up. Um, I've seen even recently that people have not just myself, but other agents and their clients and loan officers, um, that they use multiple grants um, and actually have to, you know, not bring anything to the table or even get money back at the end of the day. <laughs> so I, I think that people under, underestimate um, how creative we can be as agents and loan officers with the funds that are available. Of course, you have to qualify and meet the guidelines, but if you're interested, you could definitely reach out. We could give you that information. Um, it's not something I have right right now on hand. We'll put it in the um, we'll put it in the comments so that yeah. way, if anybody wants to connect with you personally, they could just tap in. Yeah. Because we were also talking about how you were like updating stuff. You got some right. got some new things I was going just about on. To say that. Um, on Instagram, and the link in my bio lists one of the grants that is the ten thousand dollar grant, um, the Philly. The Philly first grant. Yeah, the Philly first grant. Yeah. Man, and I know. Before we start, I was telling you about my my, my personal situation, and then I, I also have a client. Shout out to Diana right now. That's waiting on her grant. It's been taking forever, but. You know, my clients are using grants. We're, we're, we're yeah. tapping in because we're living in some, like, the reason why we titled this, right, is like, what, are, what is something that people want to tap into right now? What is the title, right? And making right. more money in 2023. Everybody's trying to make more money because yes. there's not a lot of money around. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about how, like, how you're planning your 2023 in, in you know, the, the frame that the world is in right now? You know what I'm saying? So my goals pretty much are unfolding for 2023. Um, they've, it, they have been in, in motion um, from previous purchases. I, I've been able to leverage um, funds from other, you know, properties that I've purchased and sold. So rewind a little bit um, going into the first property that I have I was, uh, we were able to purchase the property for like 135, did some minor renovations in the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, and we were able to s sell it for almost 100K, three, uh, 100K more three years later. So pretty much we, we were able to um, use those funds to then buy the home that we have now, which actually um, has an in-law suite attached to the property, which I will be converted, well, I have converted into an Airbnb. Eesh. So, 2023, our Airbnb will be in full swing. Right now we're going through permit process, which takes a little time. Um, but yeah, y'all, you've seen the, the video that Justin put out, so I'm really excited about that. I'm trying to put it up again because, um, yeah, the Airbnb is lit, you guys. Um, I don't have it on here, but I'll play it again soon. Now, how does it work with Airbnb, right? Like, you're going to be airbnb while you live here, right? Like, like you live here, and then you're going to have people stay here, right? So In the Airbnb, yeah. Got you. Things are going to be, com well, things are completely separate. You have your your own living space. It's a full one bedroom apartment. Now, now let me ask you this, right? Airbnb. Oh, and there's the gym that's attached outside that they'll have access oh. to. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh snap! So like that's like your amenities, right? That's an amenity. That yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that's dope. <laughs> So, oh, wow, you took it up a nice. You said, okay, yeah, I got this gym for you. Yeah. Nice. And now, like, for, for Airbnb, obviously, like, did they make the price or do you make the price? So or does it go can, like comps? You can do it two ways, and that's pretty much the same. You know, Toro and Airbnb work similar as far as the features go. Honestly, you can 
try to do things like you know what you're doing, although you don't when it's your first time, but most of the time when you follow their advice as far as pricing goes and how to uh, adjust it, when and when to adjust it, then most of the time you will always be booked. And that's one thing that we learned with the car as well. You definitely have to, you know, do your research and tweak the features to make it more accommodating for the client. It's them, you know, themselves, not necessarily for you, right? The convenience shouldn't be for you, it should be for the client. And um, at first when we started an Airbnb, I'm not Airbnb, I'm sorry, Toro, we were like, oh no, we want this amount, we want this amount, we're not gonna rent it here. And we were so rigid and like restrictive. Like, like having your plan set, right? right? Like, oh snap, that reminds me what oh, the movie I was telling you about. Yeah. So uh, we're like, okay, we, we're just gonna go ahead. And the, at that time, the car was only, you know, rented on the weekends for the most part. You know, people are willing to pay a little bit more for a weekend trip, you know, yeah, got yeah, plans, yeah, whatever. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. But when we started allowing Toro to dictate the price and mm. give them a range, it was constantly Monday through. Sunday. He's a strategist, y'all. Y'all tap in. Being, you know, booked. And the difference in the price was only maybe $15 a day. But I'd rather get, you know, a $400 booking in a week than a $200 booking just for a weekend, you know? Man. So that, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So. Are we going for car number four? Like, what's going on? That's, a, that's the plan. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. man. So, I mean, it, it made it easier that we were able to go there with a check in our hand because of, you know, doing things, I guess, in a, a certain way so that you don't have to come out of pocket for, like, a down payment. And there's definitely multiple ways that you can do funding for the cars as well um but the plan for the airbnb going back to your question was um to definitely allow airbnb to set the price and what it like do you already know it already like is it is it up yet like the price it's up but it's not public the listing is put together Gotcha. Um, I believe the price is going to be so the the trick right is to we want the tricks yeah and this goes with Toro as well you want to for the first few bookings that you have price it lower than the average Airbnb in the neighborhood right you, you have to see what's your competition you know close by and um, price it just below what they're asking for and also the cleaning to make sure you get a good deal on the cleaning as well. Do you have your cleaners lined up already? I do. Everything is lined up. I just need a permit to be issued. A license, I'm sorry, to be issued. And, and what's that for? So the license is the license is pretty much, uh, it's, you know, Philadelphia's regulations right now for short-term rentals anywhere in Philadelphia. They're being extremely strict so if you didn't have a license before the 11th they took your listing down um, so that means you have to be permitted for lodging for um, uh, what is it called vacation short-term vacation short-term lodging. rental yeah and um, you have to actually get a zoning variance Jeez. in order to get license yeah so you have to change the use for the property Got you, got you, got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Yeah. And so now, like, what, do you have any plans of, like, hey, we want to get another Airbnb, <laughs> another yeah. house? Like, you, you never well, chill, right? You know, so it's no, like, what, what's in your head? What's going on? Because <laughs> so always beyond, thinking. Yeah. So the plan beyond um, just the Airbnb, um, that's going to connect to a heat lock that you know when we purchased this house we we put a good chunk of change down we put about 15 percent down plus um to, to make our payment extremely low paid off the pmi 
Um, Can you break that down for anybody that's watching and says, what's PMI? A private mortgage insurance. So it's, okay. we had a conventional loan. We, we put that 15% down. And because we did that, our mortgage kind of lowered like $500. Wow. So it was a nice chunk of change. Wow, so wow. The, equity that, the equity that we had from selling the last property, we put as the down payment on this property. Um, Man. Right. So mortgage payments stayed low, but what we're doing now from there is we've renovated the whole top floor and the bathroom upstairs. Nice. Right. So nice. now we're looking to use that equity that we have in the property. Um, so we, we're sitting on a lot of cash, this house, you know. Man. We want to use that. Now we're going to take that out in a HELOC and purchase another property with that. So somebody that's watching and they're like, this stuff sounds- and the Airbnb will pay for the heat lock. So pretty Yo. much one is feeding the other. Yo, this is real estate, man. This is crazy. <laughs> and, and I started with, my first home was $135,000. You know, it had good bones, it was old. We updated the kitchen, you know, wasn't the hardest thing in the world cabinets are pretty easy to put in flooring um and then the bathroom man 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 listen let's say there's somebody watching and they're like how do i get started though like is it is it is it that simple of just like let's connect or like what's yeah, what's underneath it, it why because you might not have the vision i might be able to share that with you because Come i have on. the experience yes you know? yes um and i i kind of pride myself on that because i'm i'm very strategic you know i'm always see patterns and kind of think ahead um so it all starts with a conversation like what are, what are your intentions what, what are your goals what are your dreams and if i had the resources I, you know, mm, to provide you with, off. Yeah, yeah. then that's how it started. Look at our conversation. You know, you asked me a question, Hey, can, do you think this is good? Can you help me out with this? And then put me in a whole situation. Yeah. My I mean, whole that, life is realtor now. At that point I was, I was committed to your goals as well. You know, that that's, that's the thing, like working together and using your connections and, and to to make the world a better place. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, right, is like thinking back, and seriously, this is no cap. I'm not just saying this. Like thinking back, I remember at that time, that that moment in my life, like I just remember like it was COVID, like the brink of COVID, yeah. and I just remember not being sure, like, like of what's next, where I'm going, right. like the world's, you know, look at what's going on in our world. Nobody could go to work, and it was like, I just had to dig in and at that time it was like you were right there and boom you plugged me in and it was like I never even expected to grow just bless media like it was you know that's the that's the bad thing though is like we really don't expect our dreams to come right. true right. we started in that and then kind of ventured out into this whole another you know platform which and unraveled really fast and well for you and now we're here right and it's yeah. like the other thing I associate you with in like in my mind and my life is like mindset because not only like law of attraction did you kind of put me onto that and show me a new way to think uh, but also like the mindset right yeah, and I feel exactly. like a lot of times it's our mindset because of that self-sabotage right we've always talked about, that. Always talk about that you know what I mean that self-sabotage <laughs> not thinking we're good enough or not thinking like it's for us or not thinking we can have it when it's within reach or maybe it's already there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know you've went through that with your transition from momship, like being a new, new mom to like getting back in. So like, yeah. what would you say to maybe the new moms out there, maybe the brand new realtors out there? How can, how can they lock in on the mindset in 2023? Cause a lot, a lot definitely goes into, um, I would say start by grounding yourself, you know, always striving to be a better mom, or to improve my health or fitness. Um, just showing up 100% and, 
and 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 what you can you know sometimes we can't you know there's so much as parents or entrepreneur that people get into of course there are things that you you miss you know but always remember to be kind to yourself and give yourself some grace and always just keep trying never giving up How, and you know I got a question for you is like in your words, describe how can you be kind to yourself? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hard on myself, and I think that's the way that I hold myself accountable. Um, so I like to check myself before anybody else can check me. Mm, I like that. <laughs> I like that. So I always kind of stay on top of things, but... Um, I'm so hard on myself that I, I need to be kind to myself, like give myself grace when I'm when I don't make um, the right decision. Like if something didn't go my way and it kind of like destroy ourselves, right? Right. I kind of drown myself in like, you should have did this. You could have did this. It could have been prevented. <laughs> Man, listen, but it happens. We're, we're human. I think if we're we not perfect. I think <laughs> if we really started to talk about this stuff, we would be surprised at how many people would probably engage with this stuff because yeah. I feel like now more than ever is like there's so many people just they're hurting they're, they're yeah. you know it's like the world is like it's like what is going on you know what I'm saying and what you're saying right now is speaking to me because I'm the same exact way and that's how you you know like what's going on you'd be like hey what's going on yeah you know I, what I mean I carry it with me you can see when something's wrong with me <laughs> Me and you both. It's like we wear it on our sleeves, right? Yeah, facts. So, 2022, me and you had an experience, right? We um, we we were a part of a team, right. and that team did really well, and we we learned and grew. Um, now, where are you at in the real estate? Like, are are you are you on a team? Or are you a solo agent? Are you looking for agents to mentor right now? Um, I'd be happy to mentor agents that I think that's where um, I feel most fulfilled in um, your power spot yeah I, I really like I you know like you experienced and kind of went through firsthand was if 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 I'm putting you on and you're interested I'm fully vested in your growth as well you know and uh, I, I definitely want to um, make sure that you succeed, you know, and you learn the basics and we go through every step. So, I mean, mentoring, I love sharing my knowledge of the market and my tips and tricks to be structured and, and, uh, you know, moving forward in the entrepreneurial life. What are you doing to acquire new clients in real estate? in this year like do you have any new lead gen strategies or is it um just you know nurturing and retaining or what, what's your strategy i know you're the strategist i wanted to tap in if if you would be so kind to let us know <laughs> <laughs> so i i have paid uh i am paying for leads through realtor.com this nice, is the first nice, time nice. i'm using them um but no my focus is definitely going to be more of a natural connection um and pretty much my marketing plan is to be in front of as much people as possible um exposure baby exposure yeah. exposure so i always got cards in my pocket you know pens i'm always giving out i have magazines calendars and whenever i meet someone new i pass it off if you know anybody share something about the market um and at least that's what i definitely um, learned from, you know, mentors and my other peers that have been in the the game for long periods of time. So I'm look I'm looking definitely forward to, you know, continuing real estate for a while. But I definitely, um, so my goal is to have multiple incomes so that I don't have to solely focus on real estate, you know, because if you think about it, I was talking to um, someone about this the other day, is that when you are the business, 
that kind of hurts you in a way, mm. right? Because come you on, can't step on. away from that position without it affecting your business. So I'm definitely thinking of ways to um, kind of structure my businesses to where they either work on their own or I can hire someone to step in. So the goal could be definitely to create a team in the near future. Um, but yeah, that's my focus on in this year, 2023. And it's funny you say that, right? Because, you know, back to like self-sabotage, beating yourself up, right? It's like, I was in a funk today, right? Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy because the person that pulled me out was like my VA. And I've been building with my VA for now a month. And it's like, exactly what you're saying I'm experiencing and I'm like how was I how was I even thinking about like even doing anything like with the amount of things I thought I was doing <laughs> you know what I mean and now that I'm passing them off it's like right. it's 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 hard man like <laughs> it's hard to let go right so that's in a sense my whole thing has been like I need to learn how to delegate you know delegate. what I mean yeah to, exactly. So, yeah, what you're saying is right where I'm at, too. Yeah. So, man, That's man. the goal. <laughs> so you can extend your business or create additional businesses. Um, yeah, that's, that's the goal with me. I think I, I have more things on my list, not just Airbnb um, or Toro. I got a few things in my pocket that I'm going to be investing in. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Just, uh, rental homes either but stay tuned there's more more definitely to come and and that's the I'm, thing i'm looking to build at least seven streams of income passive yo. income <laughs> yo listen man y'all y'all hear what's going on multiple streams of income 2023 man and real quick let me just drop in let me just drop in one of my goals for this year it's youtube for real like nice, i'm yeah. doubling down on youtube um you know, me and my team, we're, we're, we're getting organized, we're getting structured, and like, I wanna grow my influence. And I know like 2022, it was like the process, learning. Um, now 2023 is earning, you know what I'm saying? It's time to earn in all aspects because, you know, content is intellectual property. And like, as we were talking about um, passive income, like I made $375 off of my Etsy store last year, selling buyer guides, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I imagine if I doubled down that 375 could, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. sky's the limit, but it's, yeah. you know, it's having that entrepreneurship mindset and really looking at it as building. And th this is how I think personally is like, if you can build a team to run like the back end, that's how you could bring other businesses in, yeah. you know, kind of like, um, Joe does, you know what I mean? We watch, uh, what's yeah. her name? Cody Sanchez. Cody Sanchez. Yeah. We need to interview love, Cody. Listen, <laughs> but that's and that's the other thing too is like being tapped in yeah. you know feeding your mind you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. if you get into a funk it's like don't stay there put on something that's going to bring you out right, exactly you know put on some joe dispenza some bob proctor yeah. um some lewis house like put on something that's gonna you know put you in that mindset for sure it's it takes only a second I mean, honestly, when you're and Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins definitely this. yes. It only it takes a split second to change your mood. E. Yeah. E only yeah. a split second. Yeah, only a split second. So if you're like in a bad funk, and I, I used to do this a lot with just like trying it on people, I used to just tell them catch them off guard, like disrupt their their thought pattern, and kind of tell them to close their eyes and think of the kind of like the most um i guess the happiest moment in their life where they've been in like complete ecstasy right just happy the happiest that they could have ever been and in a split second you'll see them smile mm. yeah you you want to you want to hear it's a choice it's a conscious choice like your emotions are self-inflicted it takes a choice to change your mood a choice to change your life a choice to keep on going, a conscious choice. And that comes with self-awareness. Mm, self-awareness, yo. Ugh. Oh. <laughs>
I need to be self-aware. I'm about to fall off this table. <laughs> Yo, listen, we are in Lexi's brand new Airbnb. She got a she got a fleet of three. She's not settling down anytime soon. Do you think we could take a walk through real quick and just show them, you know, yeah. like how it looks right now? All right, y'all. Why don't you, um, as we walk, show it, you know, tell us about. How many people can stay there is your occupancy. Um, and pretty much just kept it really simple in here. Um, with the neutral colors and the pop of color. It looks great. I love, yeah. I love the pop up color. And a little bit of greenery goes a long way as far as the, the, the plants, I put like fake ones and kind of real ones around. Um, this is a full kitchen here as well. We have this here, which is a plus also. Um, we have a roll away bed um, that could be added for an extra person. It's like a little cot, huh? Yeah. Nice, nice full kitchen, microwave, um, everything that you would probably need here to cook, crock pot, coffee mugs, <laughs> all the good stuff. Got a nice bathroom too. Yeah. So we've kind of updated the bathroom, kept it pretty simple, um, updated the vanity and this is a, just a walk-in, a walk-in shower. Very lovely living space. We got the dartboard. Yeah, we figured uh, whoever would stay here would want something to do. <laughs> if someone was traveling for work, we have a desk. I have a little bit of a cozy space here with the fireplace and the um, the rug here. Well, I just want to say congratulations. And like, this is amazing, Lex, because you're showing your children like a whole different way of living. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. And I know like we talk about that a lot, right? It's like we weren't, we weren't exposed to it. So now it's like our job, right. our duty, our obligation to expose our kids, right? You know right, what I mean? Right, exactly. Um, so like, I'm, well, my daughter kind of like followed in my footsteps I'm a little proud <laughs> it wasn't forced <laughs> she did it on her own her uh, elect I guess her elective class in high school is uh, um, business Wow yeah yeah she def she won't yeah she marketing won't. and sales I'm like okay girl she has a whole plan put together and she don't even need to look for anything else because that's that's right up her alley she's gonna be great at it shout yeah, out to EVE I know. I'm excited about that. What do you what what do you um what do you think about your son? Do you think he's gonna take after you? I don't know. I think it's too early to tell. <laughs> <laughs> he that little boy has a lot of energy. Um, I, he definitely wants to be an athlete, <laughs> so that's probably what he'll do. Um, but he's smart too. Shout out to Gio. Yeah. Listen, Gio, we gonna get on this YouTube, man. Get this he, Wi-Fi yeah. money, dog. Yeah, that's I my could guy. see him doing that, being an influencer. And that's and that's the thing, right? Is like, I feel like with the skill set that I have, and it's it's just about being able to create content easier, efficiently, yeah. you know, and at scale. Because that's the goal is to monetize the content. You know what I mean? Exactly. And somebody like Gio is creative, yeah. and it's just a matter of like, yo, let's get it. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Another thing I want to tap into, and I kind of put this on my notes, um, but didn't touch on it yet, was um, business funding. G yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's a link that you got yeah. the connect? I am the connect. <laughs> oh, the plug. 
So yeah. how can we get started? I have a business. I need funding. Right. What's going on? I There's definitely a lot that goes into it, but um, I'm, I'm putting together an ebook um, for business funding. So stay tuned. I'll definitely share share some tips. But you definitely, I mean, the first step I can give you is your personal credit is attached to your social. You have one social. Yeah, yeah. Business funding is attached to your... EIN. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. you can have multiple EINs for multiple for businesses. businesses. Yeah, okay. Multiple business funding. Okay. Um, but that's definitely a whole. Is world that under of, like the business credit as well? Like you got some business credit cards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to get right now is a business credit card. I have a couple. Um, or even a line of credit. It really depends on the bank. There's a few banks that I can mention that um, are give you a high limit and fast, fast approvals. What are they? Um, there's one, uh, probably a lot of people haven't heard of it, is Key Funded, a Key Bank. Um, but m- the bank that I use is Truemark. 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 Yeah, Financial Credit Union. Um, and Univest. Univest, I heard about mm-hmm, Univest. Mm-hmm. Now, so those are the top three that really come to mind. Now, do they, like, all right, so when it comes to business credit, you... You have to have the net 30s, right? Is that true? Like, do you have to have net 30s? No, I don't. See? I don't. And, I mean, honestly, your personal credit definitely has something to do with it. Um, you don't want to have, like, a high maxed out credit line or anything like that on your personal credit. You want to be at, like, at least 30%, if not the highest, 50. But better to be 30, right? Or have at least a 680 credit score. And you can easily get funded. But there's definitely credit hacks, funding hacks that you can use to leverage. But you need to know when to do it and how to do it. There's a specific step-by-step process that you shouldn't skip. Well, listen, I have good news because, and I was just telling you, we have some things, me and some of my partners, we have some things coming up. Um, next month, we're going to be doing some classes, webinars. I don't know if they're, they're going to be live or in person. But, yeah, those are the type of things that we got to bring awareness to because there's a lot of entrepreneurs in this space, and they, they don't know how to do certain things. Exactly. Um, and, and it's almost like you're right. You are the connect. I'm the connect. We the plugs. Hello. We out here. And. Seriously, like we out here for you guys, whatever you need, whatever you want to talk about, because I'm just that guy that like people get annoyed of because I'm not going to stop having my phone out, creating videos like you. So we had to do something special for the Airbnb. (laughs) And I was like, cause, and and seriously, this is what happened. I came through, you know, cause me, I, 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 this is what I do is what I'm known for. I want to come through. I want to get some content or whatever. And I was like, I'm not leaving without getting on your schedule. <laughs> so I kind of forced this, everyone. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because if, if I didn't do this, she would have probably never told you guys. <laughs> so, But she's getting more comfortable. She's getting out of her skin. And listen, there's a, there's a me out there that needs to connect because, listen, I would have never been in a real estate entrepreneurship if it wasn't for you, Lexi. So honestly, seriously, no cap, no BS. Oh. Thank you. Like, I appreciate you. I, I have a unique way to take care of my family, to provide, and it's just it's dope. It keeps getting better. Yeah. Um, thank you to my team. Myra, I know you're going to watch this at some point. Thank you. Thank you for coming into my space and my team and, you know, really inhabiting the culture and just, just being able to tap in. And um, what can we expect for 2023, cuz? so much (laughs) like I said to um, pretty much expand on real estate um, add a few streams of income and really focus on my family ain't nothing better than the family yeah Um, I can't always never forget to invest in your children that's real. That's yeah. real. I was I was listening to something that they were saying like, 
you know, even down to like the bedtime stories that you read to your kids. Like they should all have like, because it's like Disney and those like, yeah. you know, have like the weird pervert like things going on. It's like Sublim- subliminal, subliminal messages. Yep. Yeah. And we need to do the same, like subliminal for the right things though. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. So I already know that Jeremiah is never going to have to go through anything close or remotely near what I went through. He's right. going to have a much better life, a lot of properties and assets. And listen, Hello. so because I know this isn't going to be the last time, right? We actually did do this once before, but, um, you know, some things happened and never got out. But this is going to be out there. So, like, people are going to be expecting this from you. Like, so can we tap in? You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to try my best to, well, another, <laughs> that's a part of 2023 is to be on camera a little bit more on Instagram lives, posting some more reels. So you'll definitely see more of me. Well, you already online. know you got an Instagram live buddy right here, hey. y'all. So listen, this is the network, y'all, where we where we network with some of Philadelphia's finest entrepreneurs in the real estate space. And we know that your network is your net worth. And we want you to grow your business, start your business, and then create content to be able to network and get in front of the right people and collaborate with the right people. So y'all know what it is, man. It's your network. You got any closing remarks, cuz? Um, one thing that just came to my mind when you're saying your network is your net worth. Um, I know a, a, bit, a huge part of my drive this past year has been surrounding myself, was surrounding myself um, around more successful people. So, and that's why I wanna be, I wanna be that motivator to people mm. that are looking to start that or, or don't know where to start. Surround yourself with a better quality person, you know, your friends, uh, meet new people, and not like at bars or anything like that, but like, hello, you know, hello, go to events, networking events. <laughs> Um, and and make sure like the that, networking meetings, events that trainings, yeah. and make sure the networking events when you're meeting people or you're, you're you know you're doing business you know what I mean right so yeah. like that's something I had to monitor was like okay I'm doing way too much networking and not enough business hold on what's going on yeah, and I had happens. to like I had to challenge myself but yeah. that's where like I have mentors shout out to Josh Philadelphia Real Producers mm-hmm. um, and. I'm the have an event yeah the, the um event. royal rendezvous yeah um tap in i actually had to um i had my recurring with josh today my bad bro it was um yeah we had to get this done we had to get this done <laughs> but um no nah, seriously thank you to everybody that has tapped in that has watched this liked this engaged with this because i am the content creating realtor and i would not be here without lexi matos close with lexi y'all She's a closer, <laughs> but no, that's it, y'all. Your network is your net worth. We are Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the network. 